Motherless <laughs> Brooklyn, starring Goo Goo and Bata Ra, opens in theaters on Friday. And her new TV show, The Morning Show, premieres on the same day. Let's toast it. Salute, Goo Goo. To our friend Goo Goo. Oh, nice. nice. And is it the 10th anniversary of the first time you came to the States? That's right. 2009, I came to the States to um, do a play in New York. And uh, yeah, here we are. It's and flown. You, you, it seems like you've been constantly busy ever since yeah. uh, you touched ground yeah, right here. Congratulations. I mean, even just uh, right now, Motherless Brooklyn yeah. is coming out. You've got the new show on Apple TV Plus, a morning show. Yeah. So yeah. all these great buzzy uh, films. And then another indie movie, Farming? Farming is also out and on demand. Yeah, I mean, they're all so diverse, which I'm really, you know, Yeah, you're not playing about. a type. <laughs> No, I mean, you work for two years and then suddenly everything comes out in the, in the same two weeks. It's kind right. of crazy, but it's really exciting. But uh, for Motherless Brooklyn, Ed Norton wrote this part yeah. specifically for you. Yeah. How did all that come together? Oh, my God, it's amazing. I mean, you know, Edward Norton, obviously, you know, phenomenal actor. He's wanted to mm. make this film for nearly 20 years. He adapted it from the novel, but my character's not in the novel. Um, our film's set in the 50s, and it's like this gorgeous period piece, you know, like a sort of love letter to New York. Mm -hmm. And um, the original novel is actually set in, in uh, 1999, so he sort of transported his character um, to, the, to the 50s. How was he as a director? Oh, he's amazing. I have to say, I mean, I, you know, I've I've been a fan of his work for such a long time. Yeah. But yeah. he's so well prepared, he's so smart, he's so articulate, and he assembled this incredible cast. I mean, huh. you know, Alec Baldwin, Willem Dafoe, right. Terry Jones, Michael K. Williams. Yeah, thespian class. Real yeah. thespians. <laughs> yeah, they're all sort of, you know, got a background in sort of New York theater, apart yeah. from me, but, um, you know, <laughs> token Brit. <laughs> it's cool. I love when actors transition into directors, and it's so, they're so uh, generous with other actors. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the thing. You know, he, he's been in your shoes as an actor. You know, he's very intuitive. And, um, you know, it made the process really fluid and, mm -hmm. and intimate. And then the morning show. Yes. Okay, you play the talent booker, Gogo. -Go. <laughs> We've been Fun there, role. we live this. Yeah. How, give me what she's all about. Oh, well, I play Hannah Schoenfeld, and, you know, she's very driven. She's a career girl. She's behind the scenes. She's ambitious. Um, and, you know, she operates in this world. It's, it's so competitive. And I think, for me, you know, I didn't really appreciate uh, how intense people work, you know, behind the scenes. And um, it's such a great cast. Again, obviously, oh. Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, Steve Carell. And just really sort of peels back, you know, that world and, you know, post Me Too, a lot of the issues, you know, in um, news and yeah. in entertainment right. and women's place in the media. Um, so it brings up a lot of interesting conversation. Is anything going on in our world? I, Which, I, mean, I feel like the script could write itself. <laughs> it creative. is so juicy yeah. right now. Yeah, for yeah. I think, you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's coming out again on November 1st and, you know, there'll be three episodes and then every week there'll be another episode. Yeah. So I think, you know, as it gets um, further and further into the season, you'll see a lot more. Oh, that's character. fun. So you can't binge it. Then. You can't binge it. No, it's going to be an it's event. Old school. Yeah, we're going to make you wait. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, like we used to yesterday. Yeah. I read this. I thought it was pretty interesting. You like to um, work with signature scents. Yeah. I hear for yeah. your characters. Yeah. Ooh, I'm I'm a big perfume cologne guy. Yeah. <laughs> Mario so sure. smells great. Yeah, I can usually home. nail a scent pretty good. So yeah. why, how did that come about, and how do you go about choosing? I don't know. I think it came about because once I was doing sort of two jobs at the same time, and I felt like the scent it transports you. You know, you, mm -hmm. you smell. A, a smell from your childhood yeah. or from a person that you used to know or whatever yeah. and, and it just takes you straight back much there. like music <laughs> yeah exactly and so I was like how am I gonna be able to play these two characters and and sort of have a quick shortcut to get into character and I just found perfume was just a really easy way and it takes you away from yourself if you're yeah, you know yeah. you've got a scent that isn't you what does the talent oh. booker smell like <laughs> <laughs> well she smells like adrenaline and fear oh. <laughs> um, no I have a scent for her She's a little um, more gardenia Chanel <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be some potent. No, right. that's like a really intense Lalabo yes. Saint Santal. Ooh, yeah. I love uh, Lalabo yeah. Santal. Well, oh, I love good. that you know that. Of course I do, because it's, 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 uh, it's sort of ambiguous, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Really good. yeah, I like that. Exactly. It's All a power right. scent. Let's toast it up to Goo Goo. Goo Goo. Goo Goo or Gaga for you. We are Goo Goo Gaga for Goo Goo. I like it. <laughs> More champagne, please. <laughs> Motherless Brooklyn is in theaters Friday. And the morning show is coming out then as well.